Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Prevention and Treatment of Diarrhea Introduction Diarrhea means that you have loose, watery stools more than three times in one day. You may also have other symptoms, such as cramping or nausea. Diarrhea can be a serious and life-threatening condition. However, some forms of diarrhea can be prevented. There are also certain things people can do to lessen the symptoms of diarrhea. This program focuses on the causes, prevention, and treatment of diarrhea. It includes information about the anatomy of the digestive system and a section on when to see a doctor. The Digestive System In order to understand what causes diarrhea, it is important to understand the way the digestive system handles foods and liquids. This section reviews the digestive system. Swallowed food goes through the esophagus, which is the feeding tube. Next, food passes through the stomach, where it is partially digested. Digested food goes from the stomach to the small intestines, where nutrients are further digested and partially absorbed. Fibers in digested food finally reach the colon. In the colon, the rest of the nutrients get absorbed and stools are formed. Stools are stored in the last part of the colon, called the sigmoid colon, in rectum, before being excreted out of the body through the anus. This is known as a bowel movement. The colon has several components. The ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, the rectum, the anus. The walls of the intestines have muscles that contract and relax to push digested food through. These contractions are also very helpful for having a bowel movement. Intestinal muscle contractions are partially controlled by the nervous system, but also by the food you eat and the hormones in your blood. This is why some people feel the urge to have a bowel movement about an hour after eating. This urge is stronger after meals that are high in fat. Normal bowel function can vary from three bowel movements per day to three per week. A bowel movement is considered normal if it is well-formed, contains no blood, and is easily passed without pain or cramping. Diarrhea If your body does not absorb excess fluids or if your digestive system produces extra fluids, stools will be loose and watery. Diarrhea is a term used to describe loose, watery stools that occur three times or more in one day. Diarrhea is a symptom, not a disease. Diarrhea is usually not harmful, but it can become dangerous or signal a more serious problem. Diarrhea that lasts a short time is called acute diarrhea. Acute diarrhea is a common problem and usually lasts only one to two days. In general, acute diarrhea is more uncomfortable than it is dangerous. Diarrhea that lasts for at least four weeks is called chronic diarrhea. Chronic diarrhea symptoms may be constant or they may come and go. Chronic diarrhea may be dangerous to your health. It could be a sign of a more serious health problem. Diarrhea contains more water and minerals than normal stools. Over time, loose stools may cause fluid and mineral imbalances in the body. To remain healthy, the body must maintain the right balance of fluids and minerals. One of the most common problems caused by diarrhea is dehydration. Dehydration means your body loses more water than it takes in. This prevents the body from carrying out its normal functions. Dehydration causes many problems. Some common problems caused by dehydration include dry skin, headache, constipation, dizziness or lightheadedness, low blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, rapid breathing. If you believe you have diarrhea, talk to a healthcare provider. When left untreated, ongoing diarrhea is not only uncomfortable, it can also be dangerous. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Causes 
There are over 100 different diseases that can cause diarrhea. Diarrhea is most often caused by a simple infection that is the result of a virus. Bacterial infections can cause more severe cases of diarrhea. Bacterial infections may be the result of eating food or drinking liquids that are contaminated. This is known as food poisoning. Parasites can also cause diarrhea if they settle in the digestive system. These organisms can enter the body through contaminated food or water. Other causes of diarrhea include medicines such as antibiotics, problems digesting certain foods, diseases that affect the stomach, small intestine, or colon, problems with how the colon functions. Sometimes no cause for diarrhea can be found. As long as diarrhea goes away within one to two days, finding the cause is not usually necessary. Prevention Practicing good hygiene is one of the best ways to prevent diarrhea caused by an infection. Always wash your hands before you eat and after using the bathroom. You should also wash your hands after touching animals or coming into contact with their waste. Wash your hands with warm water and soap for about 20 seconds. Use a hand sanitizer that contains alcohol when hand washing isn't an option. Don't let your children put toys or other potentially contaminated items in their mouths. It is also important to make sure your children wash their hands frequently. Some types of diarrhea can be prevented by safe food handling. Keep uncooked meats away from other foods. Store perishable food in the refrigerator or freezer using sealable bags. Clean countertops and kitchen utensils. You can also help prevent diarrhea by practicing safe food preparation. Cook meat thoroughly. Never eat uncooked eggs or uncooked dough that has egg in it. Avoid unpasteurized dairy products. Wash fruits and vegetables before cooking or eating them. Two specific types of diarrhea can be prevented. Rotavirus diarrhea and traveler's diarrhea. The following section reviews both types of diarrhea and includes tips to help prevent them. Rotavirus is a common virus that causes diarrhea in babies and children. Rotavirus can spread easily. Hand washing and cleanliness are important but are not enough to control the spread of the disease. Rotavirus vaccines are very effective in preventing rotavirus and the accompanying diarrhea and other symptoms. Rotavirus vaccines will not prevent diarrhea or vomiting caused by other viruses, but they are very effective against rotavirus infection. Rotavirus can best be prevented through the routine vaccination of infants. Rotavirus vaccines are given orally, but they differ in the number of doses given. Talk to your healthcare provider to learn more about the different rotavirus vaccines that are available. Traveler's diarrhea is also preventable. To prevent traveler's diarrhea when in a high-risk area, do not drink or use tap water, which includes brushing your teeth and making ice cubes. Do not eat or drink unpasteurized milk or milk products. Do not eat raw fruits and vegetables unless they can be peeled and you peel them yourself. To prevent traveler's diarrhea while traveling in high-risk areas, you should also avoid eating raw or rare meat and fish, meat or shellfish that is not hot when served to you, food sold by street vendors, to prevent diarrhea while traveling in high-risk areas, drink bottled water, carbonated soft drinks, and hot drinks such as coffee and tea. In some cases, taking antibiotics before traveling can help prevent traveler's diarrhea. Early treatment with antibiotics may also shorten an episode of traveler's diarrhea. If you are planning a trip to a developing country, talk to your healthcare provider about medicines to prevent diarrhea. Treatment Diarrhea is treated by replacing lost fluids, salts, and minerals to prevent dehydration. Medication may be helpful in treating some cases of diarrhea. If your symptoms get worse or if the diarrhea lasts more than two days, talk to a healthcare provider about stopping the medication. You should never start or stop a medication without talking to your healthcare provider. Over the counter medicines for diarrhea may be dangerous for babies and children. Talk to your child's health care provider before giving your child these medicines. If you have bloody diarrhea, you should not use over-the-counter diarrhea medicines.
These medicines may make diarrhea last longer. Your health care provider will usually prescribe antibiotics instead. To prevent dehydration when you have diarrhea, it is important to drink plenty of water. However, you also need to drink fluids that contain sodium, chloride, and potassium. Adults with diarrhea should drink water, fruit juices, sports drinks, sodas without caffeine, salty broths. Children should drink oral rehydration solutions. These are special drinks that contain salts and minerals to prevent dehydration. These drinks are sold in most grocery stores and drug stores. If you have diarrhea, eat soft, bland foods such as bananas, plain rice, boiled potatoes, toast, crackers, cooked carrots, baked chicken without the skin or fat. Once the diarrhea stops, you can go back to eating your regular foods. If a certain food is the cause of diarrhea, try to avoid it. While you are sick, avoid the following foods. Drinks with caffeine, such as coffee and cola. High-fat or greasy foods, such as fried foods. Foods with a lot of fiber, such as citrus fruits. Sweet foods, such as cakes and cookies. These foods may make diarrhea worse. During or after an episode of diarrhea, some people have trouble digesting lactose, the sugar in milk and milk products. However, you may be able to digest yogurt. Eating yogurt with active, live bacterial cultures may even help you feel better faster. Check the label if you are unsure of which yogurt to buy. After recovering from diarrhea caused by a virus, you may have problems digesting dairy products for up to four to six weeks. This may cause you to have diarrhea for a short time after eating or drinking milk or milk products. When to see a healthcare provider. Diarrhea is not usually harmful, but it can become dangerous or signal a more serious problem. Contact a healthcare provider if you have any of the following symptoms. Signs of dehydration, including thirst, headache, dry skin, or dizziness. Diarrhea lasting for more than two days in adults or 24 hours in children. Severe pain in the abdomen or rectum. A fever of 102 degrees or higher. Stools containing blood or pus. Stools that are black and tarry. If children have diarrhea, parents or caregivers should immediately call a health care provider for advice. Diarrhea is especially dangerous in newborns and infants. It can lead to severe dehydration in just a day or two. Children can die from dehydration within a day. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Diarrhea means that you have loose, watery stools more than three times in one day. You may also have cramps, bloating, nausea, and an urgent need to have a bowel movement. Causes of diarrhea include bacteria, viruses or parasites, certain medicines, food intolerances, and diseases that affect the stomach, small intestine, or colon. In many cases, no cause can be found. There are several factors that increase a person's risk for developing diarrhea. These factors include a person's geographic location, age, certain medical conditions, and more. Good hygiene can prevent diarrhea caused by an infection. Frequently washing your hands and the hands of your children is recommended. Practicing safe food preparation and storage is also a good way to prevent diarrhea. Some diarrhea in babies can be prevented with vaccines. Talk to your health care provider if your infant experiences diarrhea. Diarrhea can be deadly, especially in young children. Traveler's diarrhea can be prevented by being mindful of the food you eat while traveling in developing countries. Avoid using tap water in these countries, even when brushing your teeth or making ice cubes. Diarrhea is treated by replacing lost fluids, salts, and minerals to prevent dehydration. Special rehydrating solutions are available for children. Diarrhea is not usually harmful, but it can become dangerous or signal a more serious problem. Call your healthcare provider if you experience severe symptoms with your diarrhea. Thank you for using Explain.